everybody, it is Matthew. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today we are here with the final vlog from the Madison Regatta here in Madison, Indiana. This is the fourth day and final day we are here camping alongside the Ohio River for the Madison Regatta. And today is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be really action packed. So the H1 Unlimiteds, they are going to have a lot of racing today. And by the end of the day, the H1s are going to crown a champion for the Indiana Governor's Cup. Uh, yesterday was basically its own separate day of racing, even though it counted for points. So today, H1, I think, has three preliminary heats plus the final heat where we will crown a champion for the Indiana Governor's Cup. The Grand Prix also have some racing today, including their final heat and the Pro Lights as well. So a lot of racing going on. And then, obviously, Madison Regatta, there's going to be a ton of stuff going on along the riverfront and here at the campsite. So today is going to be an amazing day. Make sure you leave a like and hit the subscribe button. And it's time to start the final day here at the Madison Regatta. Also, I don't know why I decided to film the intro inside the car. I think racing starts in about 30 minutes or so. It's only 9 in the morning right now. Oh my, what in earth? So I think we have our first boat on the water. I think H1 is doing some testing and yeah, there is the 11. What was that? Someone just fell in front of the camera. So time has passed a little bit. Uh, we had two boats go out and test and it is now around 10.30 and at 11 is gonna be the first H1 heat. Uh, there's gonna be four boats in that and we're walking down to the riverfront right now so we can watch the race there. I still can't believe the pool is closed for the summer. That is like a yearly tradition, us going there. And we didn't get to go at all this year since it was closed. So we have made it down to the shoreline. Heat one is gonna be starting soon. This heat has Jimmy Shane, J. Michael Kelly, Corey Peabody, and Jeff Bernard. So the four boats that were in the final yesterday all meet in the first heat of the day. It's gonna be some fun. And I hear some engines warming up. It is time for heat number one. Number one, the nine gets second. The 91 is gonna get third, and the eight will get fourth. Crowd is already really good out here. It's only 11 in the morning, and crowd looks nice. I think we're going to Chill Billy Treats to get some ice cream. So we got our ice cream. We basically got a cookie dough blizzard. They call it something different, but that's basically what it is. Right now we're about to start a Grand Prix race. We have two Grand Prix races, then H1 Unlimited Heat 2. So this is gonna be Heat 3A for the Grand Prix. Oh, there's another one. So we made 
made it back to the campsite and right now we are about to start Grand Prix Heat 2 or actually this is Heat 3B. Right now we are on our way to the lighthouse on the river restaurant to eat but basically we're going down there to watch uh, Heat 2 of the H1 Unlimited. This race will be uh, the 1, the 91, and then the 11. Here comes the boat. Heat two for the H1 Unlimiteds. Jimmy Shane wins that heat. He will not be in the next one. The next heat will be the uh, eight, the nine, and the 11, and then will be the final. Right now we are in a break. Uh, heat three for H1 is supposed to start in around 45 minutes. I'm just chilling in the camper, trying to cool off. Also after this heat three for H1, then after that we will have the Pro Light final, the Grand Prix final, and then the H1 Unlimited final for the Indiana Governor's Cup. So we have made it down to by the bridge. Right around here is where we're going to be watching uh, Heat 3 for the H1 Unlimiteds, and there is a giant tree, my goodness. So this heat is actually very huge to determine who gets into the final front row. So basically, if J. Michael Kelly gets first or second in this, he is in the front row, and the 91 will be as the trailer boat. And if you're the trailer boat, unless literally everybody jumps the gun, you're probably not winning. But if J. Michael Kelly gets third, then the 91 is in the front row, and J. Michael Kelly will be the trailer. So this heat does have serious implications onto who is in the front row for the final heat later today. Even from here, I can hear... Here comes the boats. Time for three, heat three. Look at that race so far up the back stretch.
Here comes the nine. He is going to be first. J. Michael Kelly in the eight. He's going to finish in second. So we made it back to the campsite, and next up is the Pro Light Final, then the Grand Prix Final, and then H1 Unlimited Final Heat for the Governor's Cup. And literally, as I say that, here comes the Pro Light. Pro Light Final Heat. So we are leaving the campsite. We are heading down here. Grand Prix final heat is getting ready to start. Uh, and then we will be down by the riverfront for the H1 final heat. Also, this is huge news. They just said that J. Michael Kelly got disqualified in heat three, meaning he gets no points and is now going to be the trailer in the final and the 91 Lux out. They will now be on the front row for the final. I hear the engines. It is time. We have the U11, Jamie Nielsen, U91 and Jeff Bernard, the U1, Jimmy Shane, the U8, J. Michael Kelly, and then last week's winner of the Gold Cup, the U9, Corey Peabody. There's your five votes. Here we go, Indiana Governor's Cup Final. Right next to each other after one lap. Oh my god! 
That is the end of the race. Peabody has just flipped and it looks like he is upside down. Oh my. Okay, apparently he's climbed out of the bottom of the boat. I don't know, I don't know what I got is that angle. You see him go up? Yeah, I saw him. You could see the top, but it was hard to see because it was over that deck. Listen, I will put in I'm hoping someone down at the campsite was filming because that was right in front of the campsite. If not, I will put in one of H1's videos because they probably have multiple videos of that. But he did a backflip and a half. Oh my gosh. With And also, so that was on the final lap. So as long as there's no penalties, Jimmy Shane with the win. That was set up to be one of the best finishes though. Oh my gosh. That's right by our campsite. I'm sprinting. Let's go. That thing is destroyed. I haven't seen a boat that destroyed from a flip maybe since the one boat got ran over. Look, they're fishing parts out. The award ceremony is going on right now, but I want to see them lift this boat out of the water, see what it looks like. It right there. He seems to be 100% okay, which is very good. That was one of the most dynamic final heats of the Indiana Governor's Cup here in Unlimited Hydroplane Racing. You battled, you fought. We're glad you're here. Tell us what happened. No, it was a heck of a race. You know, Jimmy's out there and I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm giving it all we got. And, you know, I think we both hit the same roller. Jimmy was talking about we hit the same little bump over here and it popped up on us both. And I was feeding as much as I could to bring it down. And H1 Unlimited Championship Heat Winner 2022 Madison Regatta Indiana Governor's Cup Champion Miss Madison Racing's Jimmy Shane Miss Home Street To accept the Governor's Cup this weekend uh, we had to work hard that's one of the greatest heats I've ran in Madison ever and uh, shout out to Corey and the nine team. I knew that they were going to be fast in the final. I think everybody knew it. And um, I can tell you, if he wouldn't have blown over, I don't know if I'd be up here holding this trophy right now. He pushed me all the way around the race course, and he was coming, and he was determined to win. And so uh, I just can't thank the, enough of the competition that we have this year. Thanks to my team, our sponsors, Miss Home Street. Maybe the best race I have ever seen through four and a half laps. And I'm telling you, like Jimmy said, Corey was gaining on him. That would have been probably the closest finish we've ever seen. And even though it sucks that Corey went over, as I said, gladly he is okay. But wow, what a day and what a week it has been. I'll tell you this, that final heat may be the greatest race I've ever seen in one of the greatest races in H1 history. Ended in one of the craziest flips in history and this whole trip has been so much fun getting to see everybody at the campsite and all the boat racing. So cool and now we have the four hour drive home. Everyone, it's about three, three and a half hours later and we are about to get off on our exit and be back at the hometown. Also while we're driving, I wanted to talk about the flip. Well, first off, that race was one of the closest races I have seen and it was, Corey was, Corey was gaining on Jimmy. That would have been almost a tie, one of the closest finishes we've seen if Corey had not flipped. But also, Jimmy Shane, as he said and we saw on videos, hit the same roller that Corey hit and honestly was pretty close to flipping. And what I've been saying on this car ride, it's only happened once ever where we have got a double flip, meaning the boats flipped at basically the same time, pretty close to each other. We got so close to one happening there. And I'm telling you this, that was back in like the 1980s and that was a huge wind gust that caused that. For that to just happen out of nowhere, a double flip would have been insane and it almost happened, but still,
So everyone, we have made it back home, and that is going to be all for today's video. What an amazing time it was at the Madison Regatta, and getting to go down to Alabama and then to Madison to watch the H1 Unlimited Hydroplanes. It was so much fun. Sadly, this is going to be our last H1 Unlimited Hydroplane race we're going to this year. If you guys live, though, they still have more racing in, they have a few races in the state of Washington, and then their final race is in San Diego in like two months. If you live near those, you guys definitely need to go see it. It was so much fun and an amazing time we have had. And this was a crazy video with the flip and everything. And thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you guys buy the merchandise. First link in the description. Uh, we will be back. New videos coming soon. They're going to be crazy. And now that we're back home, a lot of cool videos coming. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. See ya!